there we go. So, hello and welcome to another Skit Twins podcast. Podcast number two. It's not the third Sunday of the month, but... Yeah, we decided to go every other Sunday. Or every other week. Because it might not be a Sunday. Yeah, well, we'll, uh. we'll try and keep it regular. Like your boils. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> but anyway, I'm Chloe. I'm Judith. And, yeah, welcome. Is it just me or is it echoey here? Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's a bee in the window. Ah! Oh, can you... Oh, it's buzzing. Just don't... Yeah, just... It's fine. It's, okay, it's outside. It's outside. Okay. Yeah. Um. Thanks everybody who listened to last week. Yeah, we actually got some nice. <coughs> <laughs> Pardon me. We got some nice feedback there, so um, keep sharing it and keep keep telling people about it. Like that's that's kind of what makes it worthwhile. Yeah. We like listening to the podcast. So we like we hope that people like listening to our podcast. Yeah. So. We go straight into it. I was going to say, if if you want, leave a review on iTunes. Oh, that'll be as well. fab. Yeah. Five stars, well, please. Well, that's, four well, stars four, is good. Four is good, yeah. I'd be happy with some. I mean, even three. I think three is pretty middle. average, yeah. yeah. That's, it's, it's more than the middle, because middle two would be and two and a half. Yeah, but I don't think you can do that. Yeah. So, three. Yeah, three. Three or above, please, and leave a wee comment, whether it be a question or a, you're weird, but I already know I'm weird, so... You we've know. accepted it and yeah. we still love you, Chloe. It's all Thanks. good. Thanks. It's all good. So now we dive straight into it. Yeah. Okay. Head first. Head first. Because I can't dive properly. So well, you meant to put your arms straight above your head. You no, know, I can do I can do the dive where you sit in your honkers. Like you know the way Mr. Bean did it but he fell over. You sort of roll in. Yeah. I can do so that. You just, you can not sh- not off the top diving board, like I can, can sort of just fall in. You've never done it off a diving board at all. I've never been in a pool with a diving board. Yeah, me neither. That would be cool. I think it would be. I think it would actually be kind of creepy because you'd have to, like, how big is it? It's not that big, and then yeah. you'd be you ju- like proper divers jump up and down on it, yeah. and then they go. No, well, like not the big tall ones. Like, no, I know. I know. Tom Daly doesn't do it. He just goes up to the top. And no, like, but oh, he's like a, a gymnast diver. A gymnast. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. First thing here: quoting movies. Oh yeah, we wrote that down. So we actually sort of kind of plan our podcast, which is basically we're walking up the road or whatever, and then it's like, oh, you know what we could talk about? And yeah, so we talked about how we can quote movies, um, or films. Films. Sort of depends how you grew up, whether you film. call it movie or films. Film. Film. Um, but yeah, like, whenever we were younger, we always used to watch Chicken Run and The Parent Trap. Loved those, I think those were our two favourite films. Yeah, they still are. Like Parent Trap, like the new, the the newer Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, and That's, then like I, I think I I don't think I've ever actually seen the old one. I've seen bits I've seen of parts it, of it, yeah. But I've never actually watched it. Fully. I've maybe watched the whole thing, but just not in one sitting. Yeah, not in the right order. But then again, to be fair, I can't watch anything in one sitting. I have such a short. It's not that I have such a short attention span. I just can't sit still. Yeah. I suppose that's kind of partly. You're like a, it's like a toddler. I am. I saw someone post on Facebook the other day, and it was um they were talking about their weight, and it was like he managed to sit through a full film, and I was like, is this an actual milestone now? Like you've got walking, potty training, sitting through a full movie. Like we we went to Avengers Infinity War. We're not gonna do any spoilers, but we went there on Friday, and it's nearly three hours. It's, it's a long film. My legs got sore sitting I, down. I thought it was all right, but I always need to pee in the middle of films. I think the one film recently that I've watched, I say recently, that I've sat fully immersed, immersed in it is Fantastic Beasts. I properly, I was properly enthralled by that, although I did have to run out and pee. I managed to hold it for the whole way through Infinity War, but and it was good. I'm not, I'm not, yeah. gonna, I'm not saying it's bad, but just. It was three hours, and there was parts in it, and I was like, "Can we? What's happening there's, next?" Can we, it's, I think it's because I think it's because I hadn't seen Guardians of the Galaxy. Sorry, and so yeah. I was kind of like, "I don't know who these people are. Can we get back to Iron Man and Thor?" And but yeah, no, but like that's the thing. Like we're sort of going really off topic here, but like there's there's certain film franchises, and it's almost overdone at this stage. Like I'm not saying Marvel's overdone because there's so much you can do with that, but. Like at the There's minute. a fourth toy, toy Story coming. Yeah, like that's a bit overdone. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Like Toy Story 2 is my favourite one, because that's the first one I saw. I went 2, 1, 3. No, we saw, no, whenever we were being babysat, whenever we were re- really wee, we saw Yeah, one, but I can't but remember it. I vaguely remember it. I remember Buzz and Woody, and then we went and saw Toy Story 2, and I was like, oh, it's those boys again. Right, cool. <laughs> yes, lads. I like this film. But yeah, like, like dare I say it? <laughs> <laughs> Harry, I po- Harry Potter? I think it's overdone. Like, yes, okay, Fantastic Beasts, 
run with that. But leave Harry Potter alone. What do you mean, like merch and stuff? Like merch and stuff and just getting like overly excited and fan fiction and stuff like that. Like it's okay, I like the films, I love the books. But I don't know. See, you were over it before I was. You were sort of like, oh yeah, Harry Potter, yeah. Like I've read the books a fair few times, but just, I don't know. Like I'm happy enough reading the books, but like all this merchandise that's constantly coming out. It's just sort of like, has this not been done before? Like, yeah. you know, but anyway, right, so Parent Trap and Chicken Run, great films. I highly recommend watching them if you have not seen them. If you haven't seen them, what are you doing with your life? Yeah, but we, we always quote them to each other as well. I think like, that was the point we were getting yeah, at whenever we... Can, we... we can nearly quote, I'd say we could, we could quote pretty much the whole film, both of them. Yeah, because whenever we were babysitting, we were watching The Parent Trap with the kids and they were like, oh, but we watched this in the summer and like the, the youngest kid was like, no, but I want to watch it. And we were like, okay, that's cool. That sounded really racist. They're not. Oh dear. Anyway, uh, the youngest kid wanted to watch it. So we were like, all right, okay. And then I was sitting watching it. I didn't realise I was mouthing the words until one of the kids turned around and went, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I was just, I just mouth, mouthing know. along with the words. And they were like, you know the words? And it's like, yeah, I've, I've watched this film a lot. Yeah. But I mean, I, I don't think there's anything, as long as you're not like forcing it on people and going, this is the best film ever, watch it. Which I guess we kind of did, like, same to watch it. Like, it's not, they're not great films. They're, I'm sure there's better yeah, there's ones. better but, ones, I mean, like, but they're, they're decent. Yeah. I, I would, I wouldn't say, I'm not like, you know, telling you, you have to go out and watch it. But you know, it's good. I mean, Chicken Run has some great gags, like, for adults There's a there. second Chicken Run coming. I know, but like, Hard Man, like, it's going to be a couple of years. Because like, to be fair though, like, Maybe Hard they've Man been make... working on it since the end of yeah. the first one. <laughs> it's only sort of like, we're almost done, guys! <laughs> they could be doing that. Like, fair enough. Like, I, I we did animation at primary school, like, oh, stop yeah. motion. That's right. And that was, it was so difficult. Like, it took forever. I think we ended up, like, doing, what was it, like, ten second scenes and we were working even, on it for... If even ten seconds. Hours. And it was, like... But it also, wasn't even, our wee it, models were absolutely rubbish. Like, you look at Chicken Run, they're all smooth and, like, really, like, nice looking. And ours were, like, all fingerprints and yeah. dodgy looking. I made mine in Australian with a cork hat. I remember and that. halfway through, because we had to do it. We were doing it, like, in, like, hours per week or whatever like we did it like maybe like two hours every Tuesday and Wednesday or something like yeah. that and I remember at one stage the corks came off the end of his hat so halfway through filming the corks disappear <laughs> <laughs> I made a nice wee girl with like a blue streak in her hair I was really proud oh, of her oh we made her cry yeah yeah. she cried a lot relatable was, yeah <laughs> <laughs> then my big strong Australian guy gave her a Give hug her a hug that's was, right I remember being told I had to do a guy because everybody was doing like yeah, girls and like, dogs and stuff and I was sort of like but why do I have to do a man <laughs> <laughs> it's fine it's just a very manly woman it's all good <laughs> to be fair I didn't mind because I was like I'll just base it off Steve Irwin because that was back whenever he was Aww. alive and I loved him and that's why he was an Australian with a cork hat because I was like Australian spare cork hats he has to be known as, as, as an Australian is that like that's probably the same as all Irish people, people eat potatoes all the time they every just day. wear green and they have ginger hair <laughs> I wish I had ginger hair I kind of mum always it says like oh when the light in the right light you have ginger in your hair and it's like in the right light your hair is grey to be fair <laughs> like, you know if you turn off that light my hair's black mum I <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, we can we can quote a good bit of the Parent Trap and Chicken Run, which is I have like, class and, and you, you don't. don't. But yeah, like we would randomly like quote it to each other, but like not even in the accents. Yeah, not even not even in context yeah. or anything. Like just randomly turn to each other and like I don't like gravy. I don't want to be a pie. I don't like gravy. Hello, Ginger. Back, Back from, from holiday. holiday. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't on holiday, Babs. I was in solitary confinement. This is this is voice acting. This is like hire us. Um, oh, it's nice to get a bit of time, time to yourself, yourself, isn't it? it? Oh, the facial expressions on those chickens is unreal. I know, like fair play, hard man. Like I'm gonna give you a round of applause there. Solid work. You know what? You know what's mad? The Parent Trap explaining to kids how they get. Lindsay Lohan, Lindsay Lohan in both places, in both places oh at one time. Yeah. Like, no, but she films one half and then the other. But would she not be really old by the time they film the other? And I was like, well, yes, but maybe they do it at the same time. But how does she get her hair cut and how does she get her hair long again? I was like, um, uh, um. I think the best part was they were looking at the the DVD box and they were like, but they're so alike. Yeah. <laughs> how, like, there's twins, but they're like 
exactly the same and we were like yeah no but it's the same person they just filmed it separately I think how did we end up we, we ended up saying like it's like you get um two pieces of glass or something you draw one thing on one side and one, one on the other one on the other and you put them on top of each other and they're side by side that's what they did with it and they were like no but how is there not like seven trees or like six trees like double the number of trees and stuff and we were like no 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 but they like they kind of cut her out just her and then stick her on <laughs> or else it's like the camera's in exactly the same position. It's really hard. If you can think of a better way to explain it, go and tweet us. Yeah, or um, to uh, to nine years old, eight years old, four, five and four. four. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say our like Twitter handle there, but it's skit under slash twins. Underscore. Under slash. No one no. uses under slash. I know, but we agreed last week that just under slash is mine. Okay. I have coined just, it. That's just going to be your thing. Yeah. Do you ever think like... Your life could be a musical. All the time. All the time. Like, like there's so many songs out there, you could literally do anything and just, you know, I don't know, it could start raining and you could be like, it's raining, man! Hallelujah! No, and then uh, you're also just like, you know. I do that all the time. You would say a word and it would suddenly just be like, oh, there's a song! Yeah. Like, I, I, I can't Are we the only people? We can't be the only people we that can't. do that. No. Like, it's just... I'm pretty sure I saw a tweet by someone yeah. that, <laughs> that did that. But getting everything from Twitter and Tumblr. Although I don't really go on Tumblr. I don't most go on Tumblr that most much. of it's from like Buzzfeed and Twitter yeah. and Facebook. Shout out to Buzzfeed from, from Tumblr. But yeah, no, but like even even like at, at talks and stuff at youth weekends or whatever, the, the person would be speaking and they would say like, um, oh, I can't even think of a word. It was it happened. Oh, I can't remember. But they would say a word and then I would be sitting there singing in my head instead of listening. Or like oh. so having a conversation or yeah. something and someone would say a word and you're just like nah, 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 nah. But I, I think can't. it was like um with the light on someone said that and I was just like Sleeping with the light on Yeah. That busted yeah. tune. But yeah, that happened and I just like it's one of those moments where like you could be talking to someone and then this song could come into your head. And just instantly, you're not listening to what they're saying anymore. You're just singing a song in and your head. And then you get to the end of the chorus or something, you're like, oh, Flip, yeah, right, you were talking. Mm hmm. Yeah, not in your head. Geography, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> geography geography is great. Yeah. You're just. <sighs> Suppose we should maybe say we're geography graduates. Yeah. So, you know, if you're listening to this and you work in a company that has geography jobs, <laughs> so it's just going to be constantly like, hire us, <laughs> give or, us a job, we're good or, at this. Or if you work in radio or media, yeah, you know? it'll be fab too. I, I'm good at make. I can make a good cup of tea. I I sort of can. And coffee. I can do coffee I as well. I can do coffee, yeah. Tea and coffee. I'm good at those. I can also do a good uh, like diluting juice. I, I'm quite good at the ratios yeah. of juice to water. I mean, if you really want, I, I could probably teach myself to do cocktails if your job's that hard, you know. <laughs> Just in the middle of the day. Yeah, I need a cocktail, please. You know, I, I was know actually any. thinking bar staff, but... Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> me thinking office work, like, yeah. <laughs> Do you even know any te teachers, maybe? Just like, oh, it was so tough today. Oh, poor sets of your Is a martini a cocktail? Yeah. I don't drink. I don't like the taste yeah, of alcohol, I so either. I don't have a clue, really. I mean, I know vodka and coke. It's about up. Yeah. Strawberry daiquiri. Does that count as a cocktail, <laughs> vodka and coke? Well, you're mixing things. It's a cocktail, not <laughs> just you don't have to things. use the shaker thingy. Shaker. No, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Uh, let us know again at skit underscore twins. There we go. <laughs> Nailed it. Or you can just, you know, in your review, you can just say, Yeah, my favorite cocktail is this. Or, yeah. like, vodka and coke's not a cocktail. Please wise up. Yeah, that works too. I was going to say, we were talking about geography. Um, it was in a podcast I was listening to during the week, but I can't remember what podcast it was. They were talking about small talk. And how it's so annoying whenever people are like talking about the weather and it's like, oh yeah, it's good weather today, isn't it? Yeah, it's really lovely, isn't it? I actually kind of love that, but only if I'm talking to someone that gets it, because it's like, oh yeah, lovely weather today. Yeah, it's it's actually like a low pressure system. Um, we've got a, a depression coming in, and there's like going rain, the, and the warm front is coming along, bringing with it some cumulonimbus clouds, along with some heavy rain. You know, as we get into the warm sector, it'll heat up a wee bit and the cloud, the skies will clear and I just sound like a weatherman. See, that's just made me really happy. I just, <laughs> I really like geography, okay? <laughs> no, but what's it? <laughs> you like geography apart from, like, staring at the clouds in the sky as they move? Clouds freak me out, okay? See, whenever you're standing, right, and you're looking over some fields or whatever, 
and you're looking at the shadows on the ground, that's where it gets me. And you see the shadows on the ground and it's sunny and there's like sort of light clouds in the sky. What do you think about sunset? And they, like, no, but let me explain. <laughs> and the, the wind's blowing like, but it's not blowing really heavily down at the ground, but it's clearly going like, like, like clappers. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Up in the, in the atmosphere, in the atmosphere, is that right? Like the, well, in the sky. Uh, yeah in the sky it's blowing really fast and you're looking at the ground and you can see the shadows of the clouds moving across the ground oh flip that properly freaks me out even thinking about it i'm like no, what about time lapses of like sunsets and stuff because you can see the clouds moving that but also no, but it's kind of pretty i don't mind that because i know it's a time lapse but see whenever it's happening in real life and you're standing there watching it it's just it just kind of blows my mind i remember whenever i was seven or eight i didn't know that time lapse was a thing and i thought like you know they just sort of filmed it and i was like how did they how did they get it so the clouds moved so fast? And I remember running around the house, looking up at the sky, trying to make the clouds move as fast as they did in like a particular film. And I ran into a gate. I remember right. running into a gate, just watching the clouds and going, that's it, that's it. Oh! <laughs> Winded myself. <laughs> but you know what doesn't freak me out? See, whenever you're lying, I suppose maybe they're not blowing as fast. We used to lie at Granny's house all the time, just out in the garden. And just looking up at the sky and being like, there's Thunderbird 1. And like, oh, like making make, shapes out of yeah. it. But that's because you're not aware of it moving as yeah. much because you're looking for shapes. Whereas whenever you're... But then it kind of does blow your mind because you're suddenly like, where'd Thunderbird 1 go? It looks like a mushroom now. Like, yeah. But like, I don't know. It's like, it's sort of like almost your... Pers- no, not perspective of something. But like if you're... Say you go into a shop and you buy like a green car. All of a sudden you're going to see all the green cars. It's that kind of idea. There's a word for it, but I don't know what the word is. What do you is. mean? Like, are you saying like whenever you're whenever aware you're aware of, of the clouds moving, you become you you're more aware of it. Like whenever you start thinking about it, you're more aware of it. So it's like whenever I become aware of how I'm saying now, I'm saying it like now, and normally, I'm, and then I'm thinking, do I not normally say now, or yeah, like do, which like, do I normally say now or now? No, no, no. Oh, I don't know. No. I don't know. Lad, you've confused me now. No, no, uh, no. Okay, no. I'm just gonna roll with no then. No, no, no. Let's move on. No, that's really broad. <laughs> um, next on the sheet we have candle smells. These are the kinds of things that we talk about when we walk to the bus. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's like it's it's a good mile and a half walk, yeah. nearly two mile. And then we have to walk like across to the gym where we live. Yeah. Um, and then we just we just visit home sometimes. So we live in the gym and visit home the odd time. We sleep at home. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. So does that mean we live at home? No, the house is just the B&B. Aye, right enough. <laughs> but we were, I, think it was cause, I think it was because... It was either because I smelt um, silage or... Was it petrol? I can't remember what it was. You smelt something. You were like, I would love that. I would love that, that as a candle. candle. <laughs> but like, oh, the smell of fresh cut grass. grass though, that's proper summer. Yeah. Like last was it last week or the week before? Last week. Last week it was really like sunny in, in Ireland slash UK. And it was like oh, everyone was cutting the grass. You were walking up the up the road and it was just <sighs> summer. Yeah. But like how how do you bottle that smell? I don't know. Like they have like, to cause, cause to be fair, like could yeah. you just grab a handful of grass and just throw Stuff it in some in wax Maybe, and then yeah. just burn it? I was gonna say that. Oh, like, but then it would smell like burnt grass. A lot of candles like do you have like names and it's sort of like I don't know fresh linen and it's sort of like that's not what Fre- my that's not what my fresh linen smells like. You're not using the right kind of fabric softener. Wish they would tell you flipper. fresh linen with Daz. <laughs> <laughs> but then that would be sponsored. Then they'd have to give like half their profit to. I don't know. Do it subtly then. Like put a red candle on it. Daz really Daz. good. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I don't want to be walking around a shop going. I've got this candle with me, sir. Could you please show me which washing powder it corresponds to? <laughs> That'll be unreal. Dare you to do I'm that someday. Do that. <laughs> Imagine, like, cereal. I'm pretty sure they do cereal flavoured candles. Flavoured. Flavoured. Is that what you call Scented. it? Scented. 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 That's it. There we go. Cereal, like, Cocoa Pops. Cocoa Pops. I think I had Cocoa Pops quite recently, and I was like, mm, these are a bit disappointing. But I, yeah. like, I went off Cocoa Pops for a while, like, whenever we were... Younger. Oh, that's because that's he kept on finding blue ones. Yeah. Like, that was bogging. They were like, they were they just were so overburnt. They no, were just, no, there was, there was blue ones and they were just overburnt. They were just like, they just like, like just, It's just sugar or something. No, they just dissolved. But why were they blue? Because like they were burnt. But why were they blue when they were burnt? Surely they would be black if they were burnt. I don't know. We need to look up the science behind this. But then I changed to Tesco, Choco Snaps, other supermarket brands are, are available. available. Just 
mum always did the shopping in Tesco's back then. And they were amazing. I don't know, I need to try them, but I don't want Apart to buy Apart from the everyday value ones, they, no, they they're were a bit... Like, ugh, ugh. I mean, there's there's going cheap and then there's going too cheap. Yeah, it was like eating chocolate flavoured sawdust. Well, no, it was okay. It just didn't taste like Coco Pops. It tasted more like... No, but you know what's weird? What? Like, the cheaper ones were bigger. Yeah. They were like bigger pops. Puffs. But to be fair, they were probably filled with air. Right now. Which meant they could fill the bag fuller, but there would be less in it. That's true. That is true. But anyway, Choco Snaps, the, the Tesco one. I need to try those again. Do Tesco do variety packs? I hope they I'm do. I'm pretty sure they do because I don't want to buy a whole box of them and then be like, oh, these are actually terrible. Because like, we just got variety packs yeah. that time because they were a pound and we wanted cereal because yeah. we live on cereal. You know what that reminds me of? We were talking earlier about how we went to the cinema on Friday. We didn't, we're didn't. we too cheap to buy popcorn and also popcorn at the cinema isn't overly nice. So. It smells so promising. Yeah. And then you eat it and like mo- like 90% of it has no flavour. Yeah. And then you get the odd one that's like, the, the nicest ones are the ones that are like completely coated in like sugar that are like and then you get cr- ones crispy that are... on the outside. No, but then you get like the sugar ball, which I've had a couple of times. Oh, and it's literally and it's... just a chunk of sugar. Mm-hmm. And it's but whenever we were awful. we used to eat like sugar cubes, like horses. Yeah, like true. Like just... Getting sugar, a sugar cube yeah. and just putting it in your mouth, like, oh. oh. But thought. anyway, what I was gonna say was we didn't, we didn't, we had, we had our own type of corn. We had flecked corn, in a freezer bag. Corn flakes, like it was. I think it was about. We must have had about three portions or something of like. Well, maybe two. I don't know. It wasn't like a massive freezer bag. Yeah. But, oh, that was so good. Highly recommend just taking cereal to the cinema. I mean, like I know they frown upon it, but I mean honestly. It's great. Like we got just, a drink, so it's not like we weren't yeah, like, like and, and we obviously paid money. for the ticket. Yeah. So I mean, you know. Well technically our friend did, but we paid her back. Yeah. So like technically we it, still it worked, did. Yeah. But, but yeah. yeah. Pop no, cornflakes corn instead of popcorn. Well I mean I suppose you could pick your own kind we of We took cereal. Cheerios one time too. Yeah. That was pretty good, but I think cornflakes are underrated. Yeah. In general as a cereal. I think people sort of are like, Oh, but that's an old person's cereal. It's just not. They're so good. It's the same with bran flakes. Bran flakes are okay. But yeah, they have to be soggy though. Yeah. And if people don't like soggy cereal, that's not really appealing. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd say if you're eating them crunchy, if you're a crunchy kind of cereal person, bran flakes probably aren't for you. You'd be better having like... Although to be fair, they stay, they stay crunchy for longer. True. So, you know, you have that. Send us a tweet, skit underscore twins. Do you, what kind of cereal do you like? Do you like it soggy or crunchy? And do you like a big spoon or a wee spoon? It has to be a wee spoon. I say wee spoon. It makes it last longer. Even Daddy's onto that now. He, whenever we're having like ice cream after Sunday dinner, he's like, "Give me a wee spoon." It makes it last longer. And it's like, yes, that is exactly what it is. Correct. For. But then we like soggy cereal, so I suppose if you like crunchy cereal, you'd want a big spoon to get it out quicker. Get it out. Yeah. What are we talking about? Candles. Candles. Oh, you know what would be a good one? You see, in like the summer, right? I'm gonna paint a scene here for you. Close your eyes, unless okay. you're driving. Don't don't close, don't your, close eyes your eyes if you're driving. Open your eyes, or right. if you're running somewhere. You know, don't yeah, do that's either. not a good idea. You know, take assess your own situation yeah. right now, and if it if you think it's safe, do it. Yeah, close your eyes and just imagine this, or just you know, imagine it or listen back to this later. Whatever. If you if you're really keen, you can listen back. That would be yeah. great. Um, but it's a warm, sunny day. You're out for a walk on the road. And then it starts raining. But you find shelter under a tree. You're fine. You're fine. But then you just, you just sort of pause and you're like, you know what? That sounds really nice. This is so relaxing. And you take sh- that kind of noise, yeah. And then you just, you take a deep breath in and you smell that rain on warm tarmac. It's beautiful. I thought you were going to talk about the, the warm skin. Like the sun. Oh the sun yeah, like skin. whenever you come back inside after being in the sun, you're like... I like smell sniffing, like outside. Sniffing your hand. It's like that smell of like after you've been swimming, except not because it's outside. But like you can smell it you for a while. You can smell afterwards. chlorine like even after you've had a shower or whatever. Excuse me. It's just 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 broken here. Um, <laughs> I burped. I wasn't broken. No, that was disgusting. Okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, like warm, like sunshine on skin. I think that 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 has a wee ring to it. I think that could be a thing. Yeah. But like they they just sort of gone overboard with candle scents though because it's like midnight breeze and it's like yeah well, like what does that even mean yeah. what does that smell like moonlit sunrise what <laughs> moonlit sunrise <laughs> how does that how do you what yeah like there's ones that I get no you know what one's horrible that I th- I think of it every time it's like sugar cookies or something or yeah like, there's some that are overly sweet and it's just like, like you why sniff would you it? like that yeah like it's okay it's kind of okay to just sniff, sniff. but you're like 
if you lit that and let it burn, like your whole house would smell like a gingerbread house, which maybe people like, but also would it not like? I don't know. Whenever I get like a really overpoweringly sweet smell or whatever, it makes my head hurt. Yeah, and it's like, but like you couldn't sit in a room with that. If you, you think just... about those like scented candle shops, right? They could get people high so easily if they oh, just like. I'm put... constantly the... walking around just opening every single candle on the shelf, just going. <sighs> Like, they must think I'm an absolute weirdo. I always, every single time, I will always walk in and sniff every single candle. But that's like, I think that's what everybody does, because there's so many different names, and like, they're all the one colour, like, and, well, to be fair, they colour code it, which is great for someone who has OCD. <laughs> like, I all the red have it like a pile. rainbow, though. I think they should, yeah, I think they, they could should, do yeah, better. Yeah. yeah. I think. But at least all the red ones are together, and all the blue ones are together, and stuff like that. But, I mean, what was I trying to say? Like, there's too much choice. Like you're you're gonna have to go around and smell everything. I think a lot of people like. have one that they like, and then they just constantly go back and buy that one. And then the odd time they maybe go, oh, someone was talking about this here one the other day, and then like maybe have a sniff at that or whatever. But I think I know that with mum, like she has one that she likes, and she's always like, oh yeah, I'll get that one. But then she always toys with the idea of trying a new one. That's like, mm, no, <laughs> I'll just but get this one. I think everybody does that. Everyone's like, I need a change in my life, and then it's just like they they talk about it, but they never do it. So are you saying that you should just do it? Buy a different candle? Yeah. Change it up a little go bit? Out and do things. Like, um, I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about a book called The Five Second Rule. And uh, basically, if you have a decision to make or like you have an idea or whatever, you have to act on it within five seconds. So like, say, oh, I'm going to send an email to this company to see if I can get a job. As soon as you think of that, you have to act on it within five seconds. So you have to count down, to your, count down from five to yourself. You can't count up because like... You can just keep going, but then what if you don't? Like, is it just like, sort, it's, of a, it's sort of like feel a, bad because you didn't? No, do no, this? it's it's your brain. Your brain automatically shuts down ideas because it doesn't want change. So if you act on it within five seconds, and that's basically just fighting against your brain, going, "No, I want this," and your brain's sort of like, oh, "Okay, right, okay," so you acted on it, like rather than just a thought that just disappears. Like everybody's had like a genius idea, like in the shower or whatever but they've just sort of thought about it. Oh, I must remember that later. You never remember it. But then how are you meant to remember your genius idea in the shower? Like, I don't know, I, like write it down or like shout it out or like, like say it out loud or something like that. Just dive out of the shower and be like, Braz the light up when you bump boobs with your friends! Braz the light up when you bump boobs with your friends. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, like just act Copyrighted. On it. Oh, we have a dog barking in the background. Hey, Sue. Apologies if you can hear that. But yeah, that's because you banged the top here. I'm sorry, I got And insane. shouted. I didn't think I shouted. Sorry about your eardrums, guys. Sorry. Yeah, you should apologise. I did. Um, oh, you know what we haven't done yet in this podcast? What? The the Northern Irish um, word slash phrase of the week. All right, well, okay, it's of your the, turn. Of the bye week. It's your turn to think of one. Um, Do we have a theme tune? Da, 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 da. There we go. Okay, um, I'm going to go with, like... Um, um, class. Class? Class. Like, if you say, like, class job, or I suppose you could say queer job, too. Like, either way, um, you know, both, both work. Yeah, like, like class. Like, class job, class queer job. job. I suppose we'll probably explain what it means. Just, like, good, great, good, yeah. solid. Like, class job is good job, I. Yeah. Well, that's a queer, that's, a, I always hear it whenever people are talking about a dog. Hold on, we're going to go and shoot the dog two seconds. 